no good way of putting this, but she didn't make it. It's a loss the Crawford family says they will never fully recover from. Their daughter, Casey, died in a car crash in February of last year. She and her sister, who survived, were among six Perry High School students involved. Susan and Kevin Crawford call Casey a precious soul. It's been really hard. She was the loud one in here. But everybody at the school, all of her friends and stuff, that miss her laughter, miss her voice. Her friends decided that they wanted to make a memorial in the hallway of Perry High School to honor Casey, who would have been a senior this year. The student council had raised money, we didn't know it, and to purchase a little couch, table and chairs to sit outside the Rambler Cafe that we have. Mm -hmm. And a little 18 by 18 inch plaque on the wall. But a policy decision to move the memorial to a media room generated anger. If there's a faculty or a student member that uh, they're willing to do a temporary one, um, 18 by 18 inches, and leaving up just for just their school year. Casey's parents say the problem here is that the media room has limited access for students. We reached out to the superintendent who answered our call but was out of town. We're still waiting on his official statement. As of today, the memorial was moved back to its original location. The Crawford family says they're happy it's back but are still upset. The anniversary is February 3rd. It's done a couple things, graduations in a couple of months. These kids did not need this stirred back up again. Now a school board meeting is set for this upcoming Monday to discuss this issue further. Reporting in Perry, Kate Nadolski, W1EM, TV5.